5.7 million US dollars. That's the fine that this IPTV seller is now being forced to pay for selling those illegal IPTV services. And it does seem like every other day we're getting another big seller being shut down, these massive fines being issued. And it just seems like it's a constant battle from the authorities trying to stop these illegal operations. And this was reported today on Torrent Freak. The anti-piracy group ABCAP is now celebrating a $5.7 million win against a seller of a pirate IPTV devices in USA. But at the same time, there seems to be another part of this operation based in the Middle East, and they just can't seem to get to them. Now, if we scroll down, now we can see back in September 2021, Dish Network, as we know, are very, very active in this arena, constantly filing cases, filing motions to shut down different operations. And we can see they filed a copyright infringement case in the Michigan court. And there was basically two sets of defendants. The first one was Atlas Electronics, which is Michigan based, which was the retailer of unauthorized IPTV services. And the second one, and this is the big one, is the iStar company. And they supply the set-top boxes and the operator of the iStar IPTV services. And it's interesting that they said the damages were in excess of $24 million. So you can see how big these fines are because from their point of view, every channel is copyrighted. And if you provide illegal access to that channel, they typically charge 20, 30, you know, even $50,000 per channel. So if you're offering a couple of hundred channels, you can see very quickly how those damages quickly scale up and it ends up running into the millions of dollars. And here's where it gets a bit funny where we can see that Dish received lots of abuse trying to send these infringement notices where iStar just completely, they just couldn't care less and they were basically telling them to just go and do one. So a couple of times they tried and every time they were just told, we're not stopping, you can't do anything, see you later. Now at the background, the lawsuit was progressing. Then eventually in January, 2022, they requested a default judgment where they allowed several extensions to allow the defendants to answer or respond. But after the seventh extension, they said no more extensions would be granted. And, and then on July the 15th, they basically reached a settlement and they totaled up 5.7 million in copyright infringement damages. And they named Atlas Electronics, the one based in Michigan and their owner in this particular judgment. And we can see they charged $35,000 in damages per channel that was being illegally distributed. And we can see they're saying there's no mention of the big guys. So even though they've made an example of Atlas Electronics based in Michigan, the actual bigger company, the much bigger issue is the apparent inability to do anything against the bigger infringer of the lawsuit, which is iStar itself and the pirate IPTV service under the brand of online TV. So, and we can see this is an Iraq based service and due to the links with the authorities in Iraq, it really is becoming impossible for anybody to try and shut them down. And what's funny is that you can actually go to the website, which is still online at the moment, and still look at their services, see what packages they're offering, and even make a purchase. So even with this lawsuit happening, those websites are not seized, they're still online, because the authorities just don't have that jurisdiction to make any changes in that country. And this is one of the main reasons why when people look to sell this service or to maybe host certain content, they purposely pick servers in countries where copyright laws or DMCA laws or any laws that would prevent them sharing content, anybody's content, any copyrighted content, those laws just don't apply in that country. So USA or any other country will have no real powers to try and bring down those servers or to stop those services. That's one of the reasons why they purposely pick countries like that. But as you can see, guys, in this particular article, they use the company in Michigan as an example to try and deter the bigger operation. And the way things are going, as I mentioned at the start of this video, it really does feel like the walls are closing in for these pirate IPTV operations, especially if they are going to be run from the United States. It does seem like it's going to get harder and harder to keep your service online. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. Do leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about this case. Do you think the 5.7 million fine is going to put people off? Or again, do you think that the money in these IPTV operations is just too lucrative and people are just going to keep on selling as long as they can? So do leave me a comment below and let me know and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.